Hey everybody, so in this video I'll show you the uh, new engine that I'm going to put in here. So what a crazy week it's been. Last weekend we were in Tennessee and rolled a million miles in the car in the uh, Smoky Mountain National Park. Uh, since then there's all kinds of articles posted online about it and the uh, YouTube video of actually watching the million mile mark happen has blown up pretty big for my account at least. And I uh, also did a TV interview with my local news station, uh, KRIS 6 in uh, Corpus Christi. So that's posted as well. It was a really good interview. Really enjoyed it. So let's see how we're doing on the mileage since I got back. <clears throat> okay, so 2286. All right, so I'll walk over to the engine in a second. At the end of the video, I'm going to tag on a video of looking down where the spark plugs go into the cylinders. Uh, my friend let me borrow this Depth Tech camera, and it links up to your phone via Wi-Fi, and I was able to look down in there. It also has an attachment with a mirror, and I was hoping to be able to look up at the valves, but I couldn't get any good pictures like that, so I'm not including that. So I removed all the... Uh, coils and spark plugs over here um, just like you're looking at the engine from the front of the car so uh, one two three four five six <clears throat> so these Japanese engines they're imported there's a regulation over there emissions related that says that uh, the one I read said something about if the engines over 10 years old or has uh, over 150,000 kilometers they actually have to pull it out and replace it at the owner's expense so uh, these are the OEM stock plugs, uh, NGK, uh, IZFR, 6K, 11s. I've run these in my car several times, but you, know, you can see the spark plugs are actually pretty good. <clears throat> so this engine came from an eBay ad. Uh, there's a company called JDM Motor Incorporated out of Long Beach, California, that had one of these. Uh, this is a J30A from a uh, <clears throat> Japanese vehicle. So I haven't cleaned anything on this. This is how the thing came. So I was really happy with how clean it is. I got these little things from PTR, Power Rev Racing. But you can see the engine's still really clean. Now, since it's old, when I went to unclip the coils, every one of these little tabs broke. So pretty common with old plastic and stuff. <clears throat> okay. So I've obviously never done one of these swaps before. This is my original engine still in the car. Um, the only things that I've noticed so far, well, one, one of the users on uh, Drive Accord said that these engines don't have uh, VTEC. So uh, this housing is a little bit different than uh, what mine is. So at first I was a little upset about it. And then I thought about how many times or how few times I've actually used VTEC in the car and uh, then didn't really care at that point. So uh, <clears throat> I'm going more for efficiency and you know yeah I'm gonna do a little bit of mods on this one to hopefully get a little bit more power all these boxes are full of things that I'm gonna to do to the engine and we'll show that later when we actually swap it out uh, but another alternative for my car would have been swapping in an Acura 3.2 liter but then that requires me to run uh, premium fuel so with the amount of miles that I do yeah, you know, it'd just be crazy. I was looking uh, when I filled up the gas the last time, and the difference between the price in '87 and '91 premium was like 60 or 65 cents a gallon. So, uh, the amount of miles I do, I'd much rather use just regular fuel. So, <clears throat> all right. So the lack of VTEC is one thing, and then something else that I've noticed is the belt tensioner is different than uh, what mine is. Okay. I don't have this goofy little thing down here. Now, this whole thing bolts into this bracket where the AC compressor sits. So I'm pretty sure once I pull my engine out, I'll be able to pull my AC compressor off and then just swap the brackets out and then I can put on my tensioner that I'm currently using. Uh, so that should be fine. So not really worried about anything with that. Um, another concern that someone had on drive accord was the uh, <clears throat> back of it here where the transmission bolts up. I've got the original transmission of the car right here, and so I actually, you know, while it was still on the pallet, put that on there, and uh, the, <clears throat> the transmission did mate up to the engine just fine, so that's not going to be a factor for this one. So, so I've got the different pieces in the boxes over there. 
I also have a J35 intake here that I got off an Odyssey at the local salvage yard. I've cleaned it all up, so that's going on there as well. So, <clears throat> so here it is. Um, advertised to have approximately 50,000 miles, and based on that Japanese regulation, uh, it was like JERL, like Japanese Engine Replacement, something, something. Um, <clears throat> but that's why they have to pull them out so quickly. So, like I said, I'll go ahead and tag on the video of looking down the holes for where the, the spark plug tubes uh, with that camera and I did it in order of cylinders so the engine sits in the car like this uh, when you're looking at it from the front of the vehicle <clears throat> so I came around here and we've got cylinder one two and three on the back side by the firewall normally and then this is the front side that you'd see as you're looking over from the front of the car and this would be four five and six so i did them in order like that so you can take a look and see what the cylinders look like um some carbon build up on top of the pistons uh, not a big deal uh, but the cross hatching on the cylinders looks really really good so uh hopeful this one's gonna do well for me so who knows uh, how much i'll get out of it <clears throat> But there it is. So uh, plans for the car. I'm um, going to take it to H Day Spring 2023 event in April. So just a few more weeks. I'm going to drive up there on the original engine, and then once I come back, uh, I got a couple of friends that are going to come over and help me swap this thing out. And then after I swap it out and get the, the get the car back going again, then we'll go ahead and disassemble the current million mile engine, and we're going to take a look in there. Um, I've had some people that. <clears throat> asked to uh, want me to check the valve clearances so I'm going to do that and then uh, bef you know we'll do that before we pull the heads off and then we'll pull the heads off and we're going to see what's wrong with the number one cylinder and then we'll uh, flip it over and, or at least look underneath and pull off the bottom end probably pull out maybe one piston my objective is not to have a bucket full of parts in the floor when I'm done I want to have the engine still pretty complete but We'll probably pull out at least one piston, look at the rings and stuff, and uh, kind of go from there. But we'll uh, we'll show everything and uh, post it here. So, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support on uh, <clears throat> Instagram and YouTube. Appreciate it. Appreciate people taking an interest in this uh, like I have and uh, kind of following along. So, thanks a lot, and uh, stand by for the uh, video down the cylinders.